Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today we've got a brand new reaction. It is Noisia and Skrillex and some other artists here. Uh, a double-sided single pretty much in Horizon and the Super Sonic VIP. Uh, Skrillex, I mean a mainstay in the EDM world. There really isn't much more I can say about Skrillex that you don't already know, so I'm not gonna say a whole ton. But two new tracks in Horizon and the Supersonic VIP. Uh, I'm gonna listen. It, it, he's uh, Skrillex in particular has been on a run uh, the last year of just with some some stuff that was great, some stuff that was not the great, some stuff that was really popular, some stuff that wasn't as popular kind of all over the place uh and so we're, we'll see how this one goes um i mean his last three songs are uh into ghetto which did very well um a very bad song in my opinion but it did very well popularity wise uh and then the one with uh jay cortez i don't know how to pronounce that did well and the justin bieber track too with don toliver um so I'm uh, very intrigued to see how this is gonna go. Uh, but first of all, let's uh, let's get let's get into the first of two songs, um, "Horizon" uh, by Skrillex, Noisia, Thighs, and Sleepnet. So uh, here we go. This is "Horizon." Drum and bass, but with uh, like a UK garage sound atmosphere to it.
Okay, Horizon uh, by Skrillex, Noisia, Thighs, and Sleepnet. Uh, so I'm realizing something as I finish this, as I look at my computer here. Um, uh, this is from Hori or from uh, Noisia's uh, final album, apparently. Does it say fourth and final album? Third? Third and final album. Uh, this, I said it was double-sided single earlier because on Skrillex's artist page, it looks like it's just Horizon and, um, Supersonic VIP, but, uh, clearly it is, both these tracks are from the Closer album. Uh, so something I will be going to listen to at some point. I did not realize this was coming out. Uh, I listened to a bit of Noisia, not a ton in the past. Um, so I'm familiar with them, but not, uh, not crazy familiar. So, uh. Yeah, uh, style-wise, um, I, I said it in the middle, but it felt like it was a mix between drum and bass. It felt like, it, well, it obviously was like a liquid DNB track uh, with a sense of like a UK garage atmosphere to it. It had that kind of very signature, I don't want to say like wet kit sound uh, that that UK garage is kind of known for. Um, it, it's just, it's kind of a, uh, a, a clear, more watered down kit sound. I think that makes sense, like a drum kit. Uh, but otherwise, it was a fun song. Uh, or actually, it wasn't a fun song. Actually, I, that, that's my go-to word that I got to stop using. Um, it was uh, it was very chill, uh, very laid back. Uh, sound quality and production, I think, was great. Um, I I really enjoyed the it as a track. Uh, it's a, a style I'm not as familiar with compared to some other stuff, some other styles I've heard in the uh, drum and bass scene in in the grand scheme of things. Uh, I'm happy to see, and I, I say it's drum and bass, but I, I feel like this is one of these songs where people often talk about the, <laughs> the the mix of genres of, oh, we got to stop categorizing stuff by genres and just let it be a song. And I agree to some extent. Uh, and so th this really does feel like a nice, a nice just kind of just track. There's really nothing too crazy about it. Um, nothing too intense. It's just a solid, well put together track. And so that's, uh, yeah, it, it's not something I think I'd really go back to a whole ton. Uh, it's not my preference of, of listening habit, but uh, it's still a good track nonetheless. So, uh, But that'll hop us into the Supersonic VIP. Um, I'm assuming this is Noisia's VIP of it. I don't think all four artists were a part of this. My guess is it may be even Scrooge would be a little bit on it, but primarily I would say it's a Noisia VIP. So my guess is this is actually going to be a D and B drum and bass VIP of Supersonic. Supersonic, one of my favorite tracks of last year, um, hit, I think, my top 10 first singles for the year. Um, but uh, we'll see. So uh, here we go. This is the Supersonic VIP. Information making me question our relation to the nation, all religion, supersonic. My existence can't resist us. Clearly, I find myself living inside a shell. All of these pages can't Got all my interest Mirrors they don't reflect All of the things that we do Other than being a little slower, there's really not much of a difference. Interesting. Other than some like Foley or background sounds here and there, it's pretty much the same song. Oh, this is new. Oh, there's the DNB. OK. 
Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, because it really didn't do a whole ton different from the original. Uh, the back half was definitely different, um, with a more DNB kind of. Um, it wasn't it wasn't quite a swung beat, but it felt like it was a little more. Uh, a little more poppy, like uh, it, it let the gas off quite a bit. It was, um, I don't even know how to describe it. It, it had like a, yeah, I, I don't know how to describe it. It was a little more empty in some areas. Like it was, it, it pushed and pulled it a lot more so rather than to being like, dun, 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 like here all the time. It went and like pulled back like in between each beat. Um, but yeah, I, I think I prefer the original. Uh, I would say for sure uh, the VIP, it, it's... Yeah, I, I think I just have an affinity to the original too much uh, to it like or want to listen to this version more so than the other one. Um, it doesn't feel as... It feels a little random at some points. The the different audio uh, foley, the, the different like random atmospheric sounds for the whole first half of the song were weird. They, I didn't feel like they were needed. Um, and maybe that's just because I've listened to the original so much, but it, they felt like really out of place. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think that may just because I've listened, maybe just because I've listened to the original too much, but yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think of these two tracks, uh, Noisia, Skrillex, and others. Um, <laughs> what do you think of them? Horizon, Supersonic, VIP. I'd love to know any and all thoughts and comments in the comment section below. But, uh, with that, I'm Motai Media, and I will see you guys in another video.